Here's a video on the Patriot uh, Easy Anchor drum winch. Uh, personally, I love this thing. It is so much easier than what we had before, which was doing it by hand. But I also like it better than the typical windlass setup, simply because there's nothing to jam up here. It's, it's a drum. It's very simple. It also comes with a seven year warranty, which to me is kind of unheard of in the saltwater world. So, giant motor. This one's kind of on the larger side. I think this is the, yeah, is it the E3 or the E5. Um, let's see if it labels it. Ah, it's the EZ3. See? So, everything on here is stainless. They give you a nice giant plate on the underside to mount it, which I will show you in a minute. Um, and then, uh, this thing has been fantastic for us. I know we need more chain than we have, but uh, currently this is what we have. We bought this anchor road online. It's a very high quality anchor road and it's rated for much higher than this boat requires, even though it's only three eighths in thickness. It was more expensive than standard, but the benefit is we could fit, um, I think we have 350 feet on here and you could probably go it a little bit more. When we add, change out the chain and add more chain, that's gonna take up more room on here. But it's, it's more than enough for what we have. When we really go deep, we have another tote that has 550 feet. But for 99% of what we do, this is fine. Uh, over here, some rather large wires. Which might be a little hard to see today, but basically those just go straight in and we have them sealed. I just took this kind of plastic tubing as a UV protector, just to kind of prolong the life and the cover of those wires. But it just kind of goes out it goes up and down very simply just up and down not a lot of things to worry about you don't have to have any kind of lock because it's a big motor on a worm drive if you know anything about worm drives you'll know that you can't pull against a worm drive you have to power it to move it so that's the outside in here very simple look at that up and down it's got a picture of an anchor words it very simple operation of it is very simple that is a control wire that goes to a relay that is under here. Under here, this relay basically has the power coming in and out and going up to there. And one of these, the right hand one, that's a circuit breaker. The right hand one is a 100 amp circuit breaker, which they recommend because of the draw on this thing is rather large. Uh, we actually added this battery in our case up front because our batteries are all the way at the back. The other, it's a 25 foot boat, so they're at the very far end. And it's wired kind of far and with dc voltage drop being abrupt on higher demands over the longer the wire length the worse it is we decided to add a battery up here and we put a battery switch in in our case what we found is one of the times we forgot to turn on this battery switch we actually had it off not sure why we usually leave it on all the time and when we went to go hit the anchor to move it um, all of our electronics shut off and reset till we let go of the button what was happening was it was drawing the draw on it was high enough as such that it was lowering the voltage for all the electronics and the electronics didn't have enough power to stay on. As soon as it let go of that button, it came back on. So we were, thought there was something wrong until we realized the switch was off. We turned on the switch, which was power much closer so I can draw off this battery, then all the batteries level out after. And it's no problem at all. Everything works great. So it's not hard to install. It's really not difficult. A couple of control wires and then in and out with your big wires. So that is the powering of it there. And the nice thing about having that third battery is when you're sitting there running electronics, you have that extra storage. And in this case, with the solar panel of the boat, it just keeps everything charged up. So those wires run out there. I made our connection there. A couple layers of heat shrink tubing to be safe. And where it mounts is this fancy plate. So it's pretty thick. I believe that's an aluminum plate, but it's quarter inch thick. Put the little covers on the bolts so nobody gets all scratched up where they're, the end of the bolts are. And um, that's it. We've had that on there for two seasons. It's been great. Uh, we are actually selling this boat. We moved up to a larger Grady White from the Steger. Um, Steger has been a great boat, but uh, as a family, it goes more and more in the boat. We need more room. So. We love this thing. I'd highly recommend it to anybody that has a good solid use for it. And uh, it's really not difficult to install. Just make sure your power, you kind of follow some charts to make sure your power is close enough so you don't have issues or you can add another battery. So that's it. Uh, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.